Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for anyone with Sagittarius placements in their chart. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate with you. If you are dealing with a Sagittarius, this reading could definitely resonate with you. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay, guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Agun Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florian Williams, Norman Williams, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for the sign of Sagittarius. All right, guys. Okay, guys, before I jump into your spread, um, I just want to get a little housekeeping out of the way. Um, first off, to all my subscribers, thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your likes. And especially thank you for your comments. You guys really do encourage me. Um, and I feel energized when I'm reading the things you guys are saying to me. So thank you so much. Um, I also want to thank LaBella Divine, Samson, aka Samazon, and Anthony Grant for sending donations. Thank you so, so much. All right, guys, I really do appreciate it. I do. Um, also, if you guys are booking personal readings with me and you're going to send an email, send your telephone number so that I can contact you and I'm going to call you and we'll be able to get um, things squared away as far as scheduling a date for you to have a reading. Also, be prepared to pay that day. So if you're going to send an email to book a reading, I'm asking that you guys be prepared to pay um, because usually I would generally wait maybe a day or so, but I've had one too many people, um, you know, say that they would pay and then they don't pay. And I don't want to block off time like that. Um, someone else could have that time. So if you want to secure your your slot, please be ready to pay when I call you and basically when you send an email. Um, yes. And for anybody that, um, sends, uh, money to book a read in, like if you send it to my cash app or my PayPal, um, most of you who have done that also send me a follow-up email, but I have had a couple people, um, believing that they had time with me because they sent me money, but we've never confirmed it. So just, just send me an email. Okay. Please include your telephone, your cell phone number, include your cell phone number. Um, and what else? There was one other thing that I wanted to say. Uh, we did the donations. We did the emails. Yeah, I think that was it. I think that was it. Okay, I remembered the last thing. <laughs> the last thing was, if you send me um, money through Cash App, um, I've been told twice that there's someone else with Prince of Peace um, as their uh, their handle name. I'm mine is Prince of Peace Tarot dollar sign Prince of Peace Tarot. Make sure to include Tarot because if you just do Prince of Peace, apparently somebody named Casey pops up. Do not send any money to Casey. Casey's not going to give you a reading. I generally state my name at the beginning of um, every reading, and it's Justin. Okay, so you should see Justin. You should see uh, my face. You should see this cap. Okay, so um, yeah, if that occurs, if you see somebody named Casey, don't send them any money for a reading. Send it to Justin. Me. Okay. Dollar sign, Prince of Peace Tarot. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get into the spread. All right. And the thing that I'm seeing for um, you guys is karmic justice. It's a lot. It's, it's, the, it's the same energy. It's still around you of um, receiving uh, good karma, also still going through your transformation. You, you Sagittarius people, wherever it is in your chart, whoever you are, it, this change is so real um, and is so, so spiritual. We got the uh, hermit and the sun, which is talking about 5D. You guys are like anchoring in um, 5D energy or um, coming into a, an awareness, behaving in the 5D, okay? Because we're talking about a dimension that we're not in, but I feel like 
you have either some of you do because I mean I've read for you have certain abilities and a certain spiritual understanding that you know some people here just don't get okay and I see that here in your first row your the ten of wands it's telling me a couple things your first row has the ten of wands in reverse okay the hermit in the upright death in the upright and the Four of Cups in the reverse. All right, so a couple things with the Ten of Wands and the Hermit. All right, the first thing on a spiritual note is that you guys are really attaining wisdom, at attaining enlightenment. But what you're giving up and releasing with this Ten of Wands in reverse is the need to have to teach other people about it. Or, and by what, what I mean, teach other people about it, make others understand why you're into what you're into. You're, you're not trying to explain it. You don't want to feel the heaviness of like, I, I know I, I'm supposed to be like a spiritual leader, spiritual teacher, but when I'm talking about this stuff, nobody gets it. Right now, it may not even be time for you to be teaching, okay? Because if you find that the message is falling on deaf ears, then leave it alone. Keep gathering information for yourself, okay? Because there will be a time when you have to truly share it and there will be ears to hear it, okay? Because this is telling me, give it up. Don't try to convince anybody, especially if it's like, if it's not that you're trying to teach anyone, if you're trying to tell them why it is you're doing what you're doing on a spiritual note, you don't need their, their approval, okay? So give up trying to... Um, Make people understand you in order to feel approved by them, okay? Don't do that either. On a, you know, another side, the Ten of um, Wands in the reverse is also could talk about cheating and adultery. And this could also mean that you've discovered someone has cheated, okay? Someone is being unfaithful. But regardless, um, with that relationship, there's an ending with the death card. But death is also talking about your transformation, Okay? So four of cups in the reverse says that you have opportunities. You also have admirers, okay? And I, I, I've been seeing this a lot for you guys because I, I told you in the last reading how sexy you were looking, obviously, because this, this spiritual transformation, everything is um, changing you inside out. You know, the more you understand yourself, the better you feel, okay? And I know you, you when you feel good on the inside, you look good on the outside, okay? So second row. We have the page of pentacles in reverse. And this, this page of pentacles has been coming out a lot too. This page of pentacles is, is like when I get the hierophant over and over again for no reason. Well, it's for a reason, but in different places. And I'm wondering like, what are you doing here? Now, all of a sudden, I'm getting that, what are you doing here with this page of pentacles in reverse? Okay, so we got page of pentacles in reverse. We have the two of cups in the reverse. We got the tower and the upright and we have the page of swords in the reverse. All right. It's a couple things that I want to say about these pages. All right. There could be um, like if you're dealing with family issues, divorce and stuff, there's some issues with children here. OK, um, could be like custody things, legal matters concerning the children. But having multiple pages means gossip, okay? People could be gossiping, all right? And, and, and talking about things that they don't understand. And the fact that they're in the reverse is like, you know, Page of Pentacles could be somebody who is like literally stupid, like a, a, um, somebody who um, doesn't try to learn, like is ignorant on purpose. And then the Page of Swords in the reverse is like this bitter, spiteful kind of behavior. So th this is giving me a gossip vibe. I don't know if people are gossiping about a relationship that you've ended, um, but that could be the case. Because again, we have another card of ending here, which is the Tower, okay? Right in that same row of these pages is the Tower, and it's also the Two of Cups in reverse, talking about an ending. There's an ending. Um, in your third row, we have the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. We got Justice in the upright. Right next to that Queen of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Cups in the reverse, and we have the Sun in the reverse.
answers. That's the outcome card, okay? What that's telling me is whoever wants to come back around from this ending, um, they're depressed. They are depressed. And let me tell you something. What they want to come back for is healing, okay? Because you have all this attainment. You have all this knowledge. You were... You have this healing effect on this person, even though this person does not have a healing effect on you. And um, the one thing that I wanted to remember to say to you guys was stop that. Not Don't stop being a healer, but stop accepting people into your life that only want healing from you. I'm talking about on a personal level, not if you like are a healer and you do that for your work. I'm talking about on a personal level that only want to be healed by you. Like, come fix me kind of energy because I, the way I'm seeing it is they they don't they don't give that energy back in any kind of way so um yeah don't if if somebody new comes in your life and you feel some sort of deep connection but they are coming in out the gate talking about past relationships and old things and you know really want to just listen to you tell them things and you don't really hear nothing back from them or you don't feel like you feel like I'm feeding you but I don't feel like you're feeding me you know I feel like the teacher and you feel like that this dumb student don't get involved in relationships like that um Sagis, this transformation you're elevating this 5D energy energy you're elevating you deserve a partner in that same energy be patient for a partner in that same energy. And I told you, I'm going to get to this uh, King of Pentacles that I saw at the bottom. But do not, literally, if you know your ex was one that, you know, just loved on your healing energy or you got rid of the ex. And then somebody new's, new has come in and they're doing the same thing, like, you know, soaking up the healing from you. Don't. And you know that that's what's occurring. This, this death, tower, uh, hermit energy, you guys are really special. I'm not, this is not a joke about who you are, okay? The tower, this right here, this tower right now is telling me you are um, on earth for a particular mission, okay? You're on earth for a particular mission. But the thing is, this also what this eight of cups and sun is telling me is that some of you may be depressed about um, not knowing where your path is. Because the Eight of Cups in Reverse could be like, I don't know what path I should go on, where I should go. Well, I'm, I've walked away from certain things, but what am I walking to, okay? And I'm here to tell you that um, don't be depressed about that. Even if it's like, I've been studying all of this like esoteric knowledge and I've been getting way more into the spirit and I've been doing my meditations, and but I just don't know what it is I'm supposed to be. Don't get discouraged by that. Continue to learn. Collect, collect, collect. Put everything you learn in that knapsack. Like, legit, don't worry about that because the tower says you, the, you will find out on your own time, at the right time, okay? Something has to occur for this, for who it is that you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to do to actually go into effect, okay? And let me tell you, literally, I'm, I'm, I went through that. I went through that. When you feel like I'm supposed to do something, you know, in my life where other people around you have made you, you know, your friends come to you for, for help or you could have grown up and people, you know, made you feel special. But you're like, what am I special about? Like, oh, I'm intuitive. And oh, I know I know things. I know a lot of things. I um, I'm very spiritual. But what what does that mean? What does that mean? And um I know that I I went through that. I did. I did. It was to the point where um, it just felt like the nine to five and working corporate just felt weird to me because I felt so disconnected. Like you want to have certain real connections with people. And in that environment, you really can't. You know, everybody has their mask on. You can't trust everybody working around. You know, everybody has an agenda. So it's like, you really want to be this open hearted person, but you around a lot of like snake people. Not everybody goes through that experience, but a lot of light workers go through that experience. And um, it definitely happened. So many things happened to me before getting to this point, you know, but um, like I told you in that spirit reading, you'll understand why. And now I do. 
okay? Because in particular, when it comes to um, that job that I had, it, the very first job I had out of college, I loved it. I was really, really good at it, but I got fired, okay? I got fired. I got fired for coming in late, even though I had other co co-workers coming in late just like me, but we had got a new manager and she was on some mess and she was coming for people. And me being young, 22, 23 year old me, I didn't understand, you know, corporate politics. And I wasn't about to have somebody coming for me. Like, I didn't even know how to really look out for myself. I just did my job. You know, uh, one day I put this lady in her place and that probably wasn't the best thing to do because then she really had a target on me. But I continued to work because I was really good at what I was doing. You know, I was... I remember, I remember that job. It, it was difficult at first, but once I understood it, I was on my way. I was well on my way. So when I lost it, it devastated me. Like it really, really devastated me. And every job after that wasn't like the first one. And then it really put a sour taste in my mouth about corporate. But what I noticed was, had I stayed in that job and, and moved up, you know, and, and, you know, rubbed elbows and, and did the right networking because I was doing all of that. I, I was getting to know everybody. And had I had continued that way in my life and when it came time for God to say, OK, well, I'm ready for you to be a diviner. You are a diviner. You know, it's time for you to read tarot. It's time for you to do, you know, what, whichever fashion it would have come for, to me. I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have done it. I know that I would have gotten um, in my ego and said, like, you know, I've always liked stuff like this. But what would other people think? You know, what would my manager say? My coworkers say, like, how could I do that? I, I can't do that. You know, so um, the fact that I lost the job that I said, I'm this is perfect, made perfect sense. Now, I would have never left that job. Literally, I, if. The pe at that corporation, people stay there for years, years and years and years and years. They stay, they start there and they end there. OK, so God shook up my work life early, very, very early. I mean, I, relationships is another whole nother story. But um, work, it sh he shook it up. God shook it up. He, she shook it up. Um, but yes, uh, don't get so bogged down about your path. Because when it came to divination, even when I got my very first reading, um, the, the Baba Lao that I got that reading from neglected to tell me that I was supposed to be a diviner. I had this conversation with a lot of people um, when I'm scheduling them. Sometimes we just start talking and we get into stuff. And I tell them this story and I'm gonna try to make it short for you. But he, instead of telling me what a certain sign meant that it came up, the very first thing, he actually got extremely shocked. Um, was that I was supposed to be initiated and learn how to learn how to divine. And um, he didn't tell me that. But that was OK, because as time went on and I went through the things that I went through, um, the, the, the toxic relationship that sort of ignited my awakening to be even stronger, um, the push that I was getting from God to, to do tarot, it all made sense. I didn't need that person to tell me what I was supposed to be. God told me who I was and, and revealed what it was that I was supposed to do. OK, um, you guys are being pushed in that way. It just doesn't make sense right now, but it will make sense. OK, um, yeah, yeah. So that is what I have for you guys. Don't don't be discouraged. If you um, are are dealing with anything uh, a, a, of a divorce or anything like that, don't worry about it. Justice is in your favor. Oh, that King of Pentacles here before I forget. It's going on and on talking. Yes, right here. I see it here. You got the lovers. You got the King of Pentacles. And you have the fool. So queen, queen of pentacles that was sitting in the spread, you do have a king. You will have a new start, okay? It'll all come, but I believe, like I told you guys before, it will come the more you get into um, your awakening, 
your spirituality, saying I could stand on my own, I could do, um, I could make it in this life without all that BS that, you know, was holding me back, okay? You will get what you deserve. Karma is here. But things are coming in divine timing. Don't, don't get mad. And I, it's easy to get mad. We've had this conversation. It's very easy to get mad. But, but don't, don't. Look, top of the deck, judgment, rebirth, rebirth, death, rebirth, transformation, okay? So that's what I got for you guys. Um, remember, anybody coming back lying and depressed, trying to get your healing energy, don't give it to them. All right, guys. Uh, if you want to book a personal reading with me, email me at princeofpeacetarot at gmail.com. Um, and if it resonates, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay.